Welcome back to Holy Bodies Part 5. So sadly, a lot of these skeletons were destroyed. Their jewels were auctioned off as scrap and their bones were kind of just thrown away as trash. Some of them, like St. Felix behind me, were given to local museums. Some of them are forcefully removed by town commissioners who would sell the jewels and then make all the money for themselves. This was the case for Rottenburg, a small town in Germany, which had five catacomb saints. Two of these saints were actually St. Primus and St. Felicianus, who actually had documentation that they were in fact martyrs, and they'd been in the churches since the 13th century. However, the town commissioners sold them to another church in Breitenwang, so it wasn't really about the morality, it was just about making money. However, they were prized by Rottenburg citizens, and so it was a huge tragedy when they left. They basically had a funeral and a whole town-wide procession. However, 200 years later, in the 1970s, the town actually banded together and raised enough money to purchase the two skeletons back from Breitenwang. That's how important these skeletons were to this town even 200 years later. Like for part six?